mtoto wangu ni msumbufu eh 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 mm-hmm. anaye ni msumbufu like akitaka kitu ametaka so it's part of me that i'm trying to understand um again it's you stop living for yourself and start living because there's someone What's up guys and welcome to the Art Scene Show. My name is Chepto Ekboyo and today we have Alex Hayo. He's an actor who's popularly known for his role on Zora, which is Milton, and Xavier on Selena. Welcome to the show Superstar. <laughs> Asante Superstar mwanzangu. You've Hi. said my name so well actually, Alex Hayo. That's ah. how it's supposed to be said. You you're Luya? Yeah yeah. Very very. Mimi mimi kwa Luya huko Kitale so. Ha ha. Inataka hivyo. Hey, karibu sana Alex. Uh, take us through your childhood. Eh, 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 that's an interesting question. Mm-hmm. My childhood is just uh very interesting. A lot of scars, you know. Pole, pole. Uh, it was it was an awesome childhood cuz mm-hmm. yeah. We played, we we messed up, we bottom line we enjoyed. Uh-huh. So nilelo buruburu mm-hmm. and uh, single mom. Mm-hmm. Um, up until class 7 around 8 then we can da to Kahama to Kandanya estate. Yeah. I also schooled in Buruburu. Mm-hmm. Baraka Primary shout out to Baraka Primary so. Mm-hmm. Um what else what else uh, High school kole High school nilipele kwa western Sijui mama yangu alikuwa anapangiaje How did you survive Sijui we boy wanai wapele kwa ocha Ay 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 ilikuwa ngumu manzi ilikuwa like ni shule yetu ilikuwa so tough um we used to buy food in school That's oh, how no. crazy it was yeah Which school was this Sita choma acha ni so chome kwa sasa Wallahi tulikuwa tu like ilikuwa after closing day msa na kwambia ja kula siku tatu Oh no na ku shule na melipa fees so like from fours used to uh kunyanganya food Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh mimi nilifikiria ni food shortage uh-huh. ya ya nini hapo vyo No ni kunyanganywa food Oh ni kunyanganywa yeah. food from one When you from one una kula nipatie chakula. <laughs> so <laughs> so go nyanganywa dish manze like siku tatu nasikia msaja dish I was like ah it's crazy. So you can almost predict what happened when we were the from fours yeah. Watu watakuwa na hoga sasa hapo. Atuna tawel mpiaje. El kwa no ma no ma no but many boys were slando. Mhm. And then Kole Uh, Colony learned uh, University of Witwatersrand in South Africa. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but I didn't finish. Why? No, I got a job before, so mm-hmm. yeah. In uh, SA ama in, in Kenya. Oh, uh, yeah. as a? I, I got an offer Airtel. I was working for Airtel. Mm-hmm. That was way back in 2008. Mm-hmm. Nilipata job Airtel, so uh, I mean, I I I thought nasoma ndio. Okay, I'm not saying so many but I liquent time so I may come so that's the point yeah? Uh-huh. yeah so I had to come back I didn't even tell my folks I'm coming back so they just got surprised come by them in courage above Ah, at least you had something. Mm. Ungesema tu umerudi, mm. wange, wange, yeah, wange kumaliza. I know. I know. I know, eh. I know. Uh, you've just talked about uh, studying in South Africa, yeah. but you went there for an African reality show, mm-hmm. BET Top Actor. Yeah. What was it about? Um BET Top Actor Africa was was an eye opener for me first and foremost. Mm-hmm. Uh shout out to BET and Sama Davis produ- producer top actor Africa. Yeah. Um it's a it's like it's like uh, it's a competition mm-hmm. for actors. Yeah. Like Big Brother. Uh-huh. So we were given there was 12 contestants all around Africa. Mm-hmm. And we were given like 
different genres to perform and challenges so what will kwana eliminate you kulingana na so each round some, someone has to go home yeah okay so i remained until the finals and i was number two. yeah yeah mm-hmm. south africa was ahead of me that's just it Definitely. Kwanza it's being shot in SA. Yeah, so. ilikuwa too bad. Yeah, <laughs> they had nothing on me really. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Then you became number two yeah. in that particular competition. Yeah. Did you get any international projects or local projects? Did it open doors? Um honestly, yeah, it has opened doors for me big time. I I got to learn so much in South Africa because we also had like Hollywood actors who came and directed us and you know get to learn different ways of acting and in terms of job yeah I got off I got an offer on MTV Sugar mm-hmm. but I really don't know what happened That was the sugar that was in SA then Yeah 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 Is it SA or Nigeria cuz It was in SA. Uh-huh. Yeah, um and T- MTV Sugar was it down south yeah it was called down, down south. south yeah because yeah. it it started from SA then moved to Kenya yeah. and then it went to a staff at a really fika so i i don't know what happened mm-hmm. around there but i got it courtesy of top actor mm-hmm. and then also i got another movie mm-hmm. called Samson which Nicolas Cage was the lead actor but again i don't know what happened hey. there was just i don't know there was something but in was kenya the top actors organizing that ama who was in charge so um bet is under one parent company that uh, it's called viacom 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 yeah. uh Uh, BT MTV all that so they just absorb um the actors that have been in the competition because the num- number one had his own show on BT okay so they were just absorbing actors from the the competition the sister yeah. O- organization yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. kuna mtu alikucheza hapo hivi eh ni kama ta- <laughs> Definitely. Hey, those are big opportunities. <laughs> Now, in Kenya you featured on different stage plays. Yeah. And then how hard was that shifting from stage mm. to now TV? Um, I don't think it's hard. It's harder trying to shift from TV to stage mm. than stage to TV. Okay. TV to stage you have to up your game. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. stage to tv you have to tone down ah yeah because the dynamics on stage is you know projection first of all you have to project mm-hmm. on stage when you mess up mm-hmm. almost say the f word <laughs> do not say the f word <laughs> <laughs> like father yeah uh-huh. yeah <laughs> <laughs> so um uh-huh. kwa stage una 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 fakun ku project Again kwa stage hakuna cut. So when you mess it's yeah. where you go where you decide here pale unajua. Mm-hmm. So kuna hiyo and then stage iko na a lot of body language. Okay. You know like you have to communicate with your whole body. So everything on stage is intensified. Yeah, uh-huh. as opposed to TV it's more of your eyes, you know th- when you mess up is cut, you know. Yeah. TV is laid back. There's a launch for actors, you know. While stage uko to backstage <laughs> muko up and down najua tv kuna kalonj kuna nini pampering i kind of like it on tv though <laughs> <laughs> ni more of a soft life than yeah, stage so, hashtag #soft life <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's funny yeah. you are currently mm-hmm. on zora yeah. playing the role of milton yeah. which is a, a rich boys a uh, uh, a rich son yeah. to this mogul yeah. do people assume you're rich in real life yeah that's kenyans for you yeah ah. milton bana tupatie kitu bana <laughs> bana milton na tuachaje <laughs> uh-huh. yeah so how do you deal with that 
I don't deal with it. I mean, mm. <laughs> why should I deal with it? No, like Nico Wax mse. Nico Wax na figa grind kama kao. It's just that the ripple effect of me being on TV is a lot of fame mm-hmm. and I barely walk around without mm-hmm. people saying hi and all that. You don't let that be take the better part of you because It's really not about that. It's more about your job and your performance and the discipline you get. So uh, there's a lot of assumptions. Mm-hmm. Um for instance I played uh, Biko on Nafsi, the movie yeah. that was launched um last year, premiered yeah. last yeah. year. Yeah. Uh, alongside superstars when Zango akina Kate actress akina uh, Makideu Monique Mumbi Maina Mumbi Maina mwenyewe yeah mm. so like my role is is gay I'm I'm gay in that movie I remember I, I was even telling Alfred Munyo eh, uh, who was here yeah. I was like ish ukakatiwa tu vizuri hapo ukaingia hapo yeah so the thing is um <laughs> Uh, people who watch it it is the longest running movie by the way in theaters with eight weeks wow never oh, but it, it it is a dope film uh, yeah, yeah. asanti it is yes. a dope film yes so like people assume okay so are you are you so gay? I, are you gay of course not i know you you I are mean, not how, gay how can i be gay with people you like you i wanted to ask you uh. What did your close family members because of course they support you yeah. and they came to theaters to watch it yeah. how did they take that role I mean ko kazi jama mean ko works it's not to be taken personal yeah, yeah? yeah. it's like mm-hmm. it's like me being shot in a in a in a, in a series or a film mm-hmm. I love him to anyone like did you die uh, <laughs> you're like why are you here you are supposed <laughs> to be dead you know it's yeah. the same thing Um I had to research so much about gay people personally I do not judge whatever orientation anyone has. Yeah, yeah. So I had to kind of research so much about gay guys and mm-hmm. and lesbians. Because you have to represent them well yeah. since you're playing that yeah, character. So it was a lot of back and forth between me and the producer. It was more of nimepata hivi okay I can do these earrings yeah mm-hmm. they're like really big and really flashy is like no Alex tone down. Yeah. So it was quite a challenge and then I come up with this role something in acting called characterization I come up with this mm-hmm. you know character and it's like no bring it down so Cuz again was, gay, a gay guy in the states and a gay guy in Kenya are totally different mm-hmm. Cuz in Kenya they're more hiding they're more under under wraps yeah. and those who are out there there's some who are out there but that yeah. is not the norm as the thing yeah. yeah so you cannot wear those huge earrings yeah and... but you see i'm an actor i'm a storyteller i yeah. whatever happens i'm a reflection of society whatever happens out there really yeah. i'm just telling the story mm-hmm. regardless of religion regardless of political interest regardless of tribe i'm just i'm just doing my job which yeah. is telling the story yeah yeah and it's something that is happening so it is, it's a yeah. good story mm, mm, uh, sure. back to zora to lead diverse yeah, 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 for you yeah. what do you love about this role <laughs> first of all missy pongo role at him jama mfiti unajua like a good person uh, a good guy i'm always given you know what to sumbua manzi so your role is interesting milton milton is so interesting sana um Nisumbua manze. Okay. Is a rich, spoiled, arrogant mm-hmm. type of guy. You know, everything has to go his way. Mm-hmm. If not his way then it's no way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so I I kind of find it interesting. I had my highs where I was depicted as a really silly guy when I was conned a lot of cash because mm-hmm. I was lured by a woman to do avocado <laughs> business. <laughs> so it was it was very interesting. I was I was a victim. Mm-hmm. And whenever I walked outside after the episode like guys were <laughs> laughing at me. I couldn't Sometimes I just can't even walk without a hat or a mask on. Mm-hmm. 
it's crazy and even with the mask and the hat on sometimes it's crazy and it's cause i think together with the writers we kind of came up with something that was really you know it touched yeah, kenyans and yeah, the audience mm, mm-hmm. which i love if i i spurred such a reaction i feel i've, I've done my job as an actor yeah, yeah. yeah. so uh, milton is very interesting mm-hmm. it's very interesting nimesumbua tu ni nime yani nikikuona tu na kusumbua hata wewe ndio kusumbua tu so thank god ujakuja kama milton i know taking the context mm-hmm. of milton mm-hmm. from the screen to mm-hmm. now real life mm-hmm. if you are that uh, rich kid who, mm-hmm. who was brought up in a rich family yeah. will you be a like milton mm-hmm. or a different person let's assume you've grown up privileged I don't know isn't it to the dunia Uh-huh Nature versus nature Yeah <laughs> me I don't know I I don't think mm-hmm. such things will change me atisa mkona pesa ama ni kona pesa I don't think such things will change me Um it might change me to the extent that I'll buy more flashy things yeah Uh-huh like uh-huh. Yeah, I'd, I'd rock like real gold jewelry isn't it? Big one get in Nairobi. So, <laughs> so I I don't know. Yo tundo change na za fikiria but in terms of character mm-hmm. I think dignity is more important. Yeah. I I think uh treating people well mm-hmm. is more important to to me as a person and of course to God. So yeah. I don't think that will do anything to me really. Mm, yeah. Nice. Does it pay well <coughs> considering you're one of the main characters? Yeah, it does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ona beje huko animated mimi nataka utoe juice. Sasa ni sasa. Huko ni one line na boy. Let's keep it moving. Sasa ni sasa nini? In a, as in the journey of acting is quite tough yeah you you're you're fighting for a role with people who are hotter than you people who are taller than you people who have more beard than you people who are more talented than you so and then now there's you unaangalia line your auditions you're like ah what are the chances ah, of me uh, getting this mm, role <laughs> but it kind of see so ma we don't have uh, godfathers and godmothers all we have is our our talent yeah. and our discipline yeah. this is my job mm-hmm. take it or leave it yeah so um, i i i come to learn so much as i as i continue my path in acting it's kind of yeah. hard when you're starting mm-hmm. but once you're there mm-hmm. sometimes you don't even go for auditions sometimes ah sometimes Cause but pe- that is when you you've done enough body of work mm. that people can know yeah. I can cast yeah. anakuona anajoni le yeah cast Alex in mm. this na he will deliver that's, yeah that's yeah. what um patience has done for me I admit mm. uh I've been in the industry for like this is my 11th year where yeah. so it's been constant mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 11 years of constant investing mm-hmm. learning relearning looking at the best what they do how they handle fame how they handle themselves you know how they audition mm-hmm. how they package themselves so yeah. with all that the you kind of carve what you want for yeah. yourself the roles you attract mm-hmm. the paycheck you want So by the time someone picks their phone to call Alex Kayo they already know what type of role Alex Kayo is going to play and if he'll deliver. Yeah. They already know Alex Kayo's rates. Mm-hmm. So it becomes a bit easier better and easier. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Which well-known mm. Zora actor mm. would you beat mm. in a street fight? All of them. Me nataka uchuzi moja. I'm just wearing a hoodie. I mean, I don't think anyone in Zora has 
lifted as much weight as I've done in the gym so <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know mm-hmm. you might be surprised whom I will beat mm-hmm. <sighs> if it was a like a street fight kwame <laughs> <laughs> why Quincy? kwame hmm? why 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 kids cause to to gonna fight sin kozora Mm-hmm. and he beat me because the script says he beat me. Uh-huh. So I'd like it to be off script just for the for the audience who thought mm-hmm. I was beaten so that I can mm-hmm. beat him up. <laughs> <laughs> Poor <Kinsi. laughs> Have you ever mm-hmm. had a bad day mm-hmm. on set mm-hmm. and you had to pull a character? Yeah, all Take the us time. through that period. All the times. You know, aside from being an actor and and being on set yeah. you're a human being sometimes things happen off set mm-hmm. you know sometimes mtu anaweza kwa mkunglisha baya sometimes landlord landlord you know she does an Nairobi so yeah. i am a very very prayerful person mm-hmm. i go through all these things through prayers that's mm-hmm. what i can say okay yeah like mm, i don't go into a scene to perform without praying Wow, that's, that's how petty that's it gets deep. for me. Yeah, yeah. Every single scene, let alone an episode, scene, scene by scene I do because mm-hmm. I always want to give the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ah. So that's how I go through literally everything. Yeah, yeah I I just pray. Wow. Yeah. Mm, interesting. Uh, you have a beautiful daughter. Thank you. Anaya, yeah. Apple social media. Yeah. How is fatherhood taking you? Um it's exciting but mtoto wangu ni msumbufu eh 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 anaye ni msumbufu like akitaka kitu ametaka so it's part of me that I'm trying to understand um again it's you stop living for yourself and start living because there's someone okay yeah it's no longer i want that shoe for 15 g's let me buy it yeah no. It's more of do I really have to buy a shoe for 15 Gs while I can pay school fees or I can get my daughter you know mm-hmm. it's on so the mindset your time may change mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it's it's no longer about me I have someone I have to set examples yeah. and she's a daddy's girl so yeah Eesh, can I spoil you up or you <laughs> <laughs> uh, are you still with Anaya's mom ama how, <laughs> how how is the Alex off screen. No, we are not together. Okay. Yeah, okay. she's um we are co-parenting. She's mm-hmm. one of the best baby mamas anyone could wish for. That's she's, positive. Wow. She's very understanding and we talk. Mm-hmm. We have a relationship um mm-hmm. exclusively because of our daughter. Uh-huh. Nothing yeah. more, mm-hmm. nothing less. She's understanding. We help each other with advice. Mm-hmm. Sometimes financially, so nikimwambia mm-hmm. niko down na naweza nitumia do. Saingine huyu niambia ko down na kan ko na namtumia and Ngobeyo ni very positive. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. that's the kind of respect and relationship we have with mm-hmm. Anaya's mother. Wow. And I'm grateful for that because many people can say many different stories. We all know um how hard it is dealing to, with baby mamas yes mm. uh, even so, even some baby baby fathers yeah for trouble, sure for sure, for sure. yeah mm. yeah so for us it's, it's a different case and it's cause we chose for it to be like that because of our daughter uh, are you taken or not <laughs> uh gonna valentines mbaya sana gonna valentines mbaya sana nice oh gonna valentines hey Wacha tu shelf. Ah, jibu jibu. Yani ah, zizi atuendelee na interview manzi. Wako la Valentine's. Zina Valentine's. Unaweza oh, unaweza oh, join oh. Valentine's yetu. Ah, <laughs> sawa, tutakuwa triple. <laughs> uh, we have seen you touring in schools. Yeah. How has that been and what specifically do you do when you go to these schools? Um hey, it's massive the love what on a crazy. different scale yeah mm-hmm. hey, sh- what what i can say is the love is insane like 
thank god for these people man yeah yani um it's so genuine do you get me it's mm-hmm. so genuine and so legit so what i'm doing i'm just giving back mm-hmm. i'm making this tour to get in touch with the audience yeah yeah i started off as a set book actor i used to do set books or uh, in schools mm-hmm. so Wh- for which me which ones which ones were the set books i did uh, kifo kisimani river between musho akosa mm-hmm. um, what else shreds of tenderness mm-hmm. enemy of the people i played hofstad on enemy of the people yeah such books mm-hmm. that was back in 2010 2011 mm-hmm. apo Yeah so I go to schools to give back. Okay. Um courtesy of my friend Dan. Mm-hmm. Shout out to Dan of Elite Thespians. Mm-hmm. Um so we just go and give advice and as well as inspire give a platform for these children which we didn't get when coming up. Mm-hmm. So that's basically what I do. So even tomorrow I'm traveling. Yeah. I'm going to Western I'm probably going to visit uh, the school of hard knocks. Yes, please where help. Where I school. <laughs> support the for one. Hey, how are you going to support your teachers, the guy? Hey, you ni kazi. Uko yo shule ni kazi. That one that you can't even forget until well, now. Lazima hey. niende uko. Hey. No me too high. So nyinyi ndo mko hapa. Okay so how is life? <laughs> yani nikae tu niangalie. Okay, yani okay. You know, it sinks in. Yeah. Probably even sit in the classroom, go mm. to the principal's office and sit in his chair. Yeah. Just feel that school, just feel that school because yeah. I've never been there ever since I left. Yeah, that's like 15 years ago. That's around 2526 26 aha i mean him say guy i did this is a yango eh eh okay you're also playing as we said earlier the role of Xavier mm-hmm. on Selena is it ongoing um it's ongoing on Showmax not on my show magic i uh-huh. left Selena in 20 end of 2019 mm-hmm. mm. so comparing that role mm-hmm with now Milton on mm-hmm. Zora mm-hmm. which one do people love the most between the two roles uh, to be honest i think people remember Milton more than uh-huh. Xavier uh-huh. i don't know why i don't know if because it's different channels with different audiences but then again Selena has its audience Zora has its audience yeah yeah not everyone is on pay tv yeah especially mm-hmm. outside Nairobi and cities mm-hmm. as compared to Zora where it's on mainstream it's countrywide mm. yeah so it has a very uh very different audience also Nafsi has mm-hmm. a different so it's something i've come to learn as well yeah yeah different programs mm-hmm. different audiences mm-hmm. new reaction new like it's it's all a new platform all the time yeah. same actor but different platforms cuz unapata mtu ali watch nafsi sana sana nafsi appealed to 30 something yeah guy, guys who were just starting their marriages yeah, in you know, marriage uh, my working class my mm-hmm. upper mid class and watu walikuwa na watch nafsi mm-hmm. and selina ni middle class yeah and then zora ni kila mtu hata watoto wadogo because they they have access to yeah like zora kids like you're walking in shopping malls and kids are telling their parents ndo ule milton wa zora ya na ni mtoto mdogo hata anashindwa kutembea lakini anajua i think they watch it with their parents it's crazy yeah, yeah it's crazy yeah. so i think despite uh, the roles mm, zora has its audience yeah and I think Zora is watched more compared to any other program in this country. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That explains how small mm-hmm. kids know me. Yeah. 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 Cuz uh, I was speaking to I think Brian uh, Brian Ogola, mm-hmm. Selena, mm-hmm. he was here. Mm-hmm. 
and he told me as much as Selena is in Kenya has the Kenyan audience mm. he gets more people mm-hmm. from Tanzania from the whole East African block yeah Swahili nation because yeah. now it's they are a fan mm-hmm. of, of the of the show yeah. so the the nini the audience has expanded regional mm-hmm. wise mm-hmm. than the local guys okay yeah so you just never know Yeah, yeah check in yeah. say then I, I think yeah cuz I have cuz I have um uh, relatives in Tanzania mm-hmm. and they call me to tell me eh hey, leo kwa zora eh hey, ulifanya you mambo know and that's Dar salam so yeah. I think Zora also has that really wide scale yeah. Yeah. and it being a very good production mm-hmm. um shout out to Jiffy Pictures mm-hmm. um they've done their homework Yeah, they've done yeah. their like hakuna mtu wako kwa Zora si superstar kila mtu ni superstar na waona pale kila mtu wako ni brand ambassador you can imagine you can imagine so you which can is just really imagine nice. yeah. which is really yeah. nice yeah. yeah what are some of the challenges you faced as mm. an actor coming up manze eh ni ngumu manze eh kuna like nikianza niki, niki stage there were actors who are really good really good way better than me way better and they're not here they gave up and uh, and I drive uber you know mm-hmm. it's tough sometimes we we'll just let passion like take the better part of us yeah as as an as an actor i'm driven by passion more than anything mm-hmm. and i think passion has sustained me yeah up to where i am for it to be able to put money in my account Why not for for my passion I would have given up because you do programs me pay yangu ya kwanza ilikuwa ya TV that is mm-hmm. ilikuwa KBC mm-hmm. and nilifanya role ndogo kwa kipindi inaitwa Angels Diary okay and I was paid 4000 and per episode yeah per episode okay okay mm-hmm. and after ku, ku, ku shoot nikaenda kudai pesa KBC nikamba episode yako haija ya yeah. so episode yangu ilikuwa ina ya yeah, 3 months later na nangoja foke manzi <laughs> nikasema <laughs> indo <laughs> tv indo hey, indo tv wacha ikae man <laughs> ah wacha ikae manzi <laughs> so nikaendelea tu kasana na Joanna tu na producer mmoja anani introduce kwa producer mwingine kapata role and tv eh and tv ilikuwa vitu zilikuwa better mm-hmm. Consi- two weeks zinafika 25k imeingia two weeks zingine ka 30 eh ah. sema okay we can now survive i think i think yeah it's kind of starting mm-hmm. to pay off so and and tv kidogo kidogo nikafanya citizen pia minor minor roles yeah kaenda majun karudi mm-hmm. kapata selina pata nafsi zora yeah tunashukuru manze what would you wish you would have known mm-hmm. before you started acting mm-hmm. i wish i would have known it's that hard mm-hmm. to like become a great person it's hard Eish, it's hard ndo kubalike jama e uta uta grind u say i wish i knew that I just I just did it you know like me si kwa na msee artist ju yanko leo kwa family yetu hata kuna mtu anafanya entertainment mimi tu yeah so like says is a man lishwa mkono na nikianza but of course nikiendelea nilikuwa introduced to people whom they gave me opportunities and I can't even mention them because they really don't like they're not about that life yeah but they know this themselves they really you know supported me mm-hmm. one in kbc mm-hmm. the other in mnet mm-hmm. the other one um uh, some big up, big up big up to those people who helped you yeah so yeah. I, i i wouldn't want to mention them cause mm-hmm. yeah yeah but they know themselves yeah. okay mm-hmm. uh, what's your honest opinion mm-hmm. about the kenyan film industry Hey, we've grown. Wow. Have you seen the productions like 40 Sticks? 
Yes. Mm-hmm. yes. Nafsi. Mm-hmm. Zora. Mm-hmm. Selina Uradi ah growth man say. Mm? Mm-hmm. Growth si jokes. Tume yeah. tumeendelea. Mm-hmm. Tumeendelea. We are getting there. Mm-hmm. Sidhani hata Africa kuna production kazi tu. Mm. When you talk money it's another story but in terms of production and talent I don't think we have an equal in Africa to be honest. No, our our level of production is To be is honest, high. we don't. Yeah. yeah. Mm. So we're growing. We are really growing. Younger actors are coming up and they are very creative. Mm-hmm. Um they are way better and of course one or two they are working hard wanajituma mbaya so kuna growth ingine inanifurahisha mm-hmm. inanifurahisha sana okay uh, we've just talked up earlier about your body you've said you gonna guns which part of your body do you like the most and why wow my lips your hips lips your i like hips <laughs> <laughs> hips don't lie i check check okay your lips i check well, check well. <laughs> Ah, nilikuwa nimesikia hips. Hata hata kama. Eh, hata kama. Eh, hata kama. Okay, why your lips? I I don't know. I I I find them so attractive like mm-hmm. I I can turn myself on. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> no, I I find them attractive to be honest. Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm like kwa mirenko. Hmm. That is that, that's the only part you pay attention. Hmm. Hey. <laughs> okay. What's the one thing mm-hmm. you would like to achieve mm-hmm. before God takes you? Uh just inspire. You know, just inspire millions and millions using my platforms. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not just to become an entertainer but in whatever you do, you know. Mm-hmm. Like have an impactful yeah yeah my story my story coming up it's quite intricate so mm-hmm. like if i can share it to the world in a way that mm-hmm. it's relatable yeah yeah for someone to change their mindset and someone not to give up i mean i'll be winning mm-hmm. i'll be very happy mm-hmm. yeah what projects mm-hmm. are you currently doing and what should we expect from you this year first of all i'm i'm on my tour mm-hmm. my country tour and in schools mm-hmm. that's what i'm doing actively now mm-hmm. and um in terms of film and tv i really don't have an offer yet okay yeah it's still early offers don't come in february in kenyan film industries mm-hmm. Many of us start coming in in March. So second Be- quarter or yeah, yeah because you know stations and producers mm-hmm. are revisiting them yearly annual budget around this time. Almost okay. all stations in Kenya mm-hmm. allocate budgets in March. Mm-hmm. So from March that's when of us start trickling in. Mm-hmm. So so far I'm doing my personal things um I'm, I'm paying full attention to the tours and all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so so far so good. Okay. But of course you'll expect me in something. I don't know what. And that's the that's that kind of gives me adrenaline, yeah. Mm-hmm. I've ever since I started my acting, I have not lived a single year jobless. Yeah. To be honest. God will provide. So it, it in any fraisha because i don't know what i'm going to do next and what character i'm going to to place my hands on yeah but i know it's big that's the best part i don't yeah <laughs> so hopeful mm. so in any you know in at a mimi niko tu hapo okay what next what ne- alexa what next yeah i i kind of like such and such life yeah okay living in the Yeah, on the edge. On the edge of life. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Thank you so much for coming thank and you. gracing this show. Thank you. Thank you for having me as well. You're an amazing lady. I've heard so much about you. Thank you. And thank you. And yeah. 
Uh, I'm glad you have me here and thank you for your time as well. Karibu, uh, happy Valentine's. See, we have a plan. It's a triple. Uh, yeah, three some, yeah. <laughs> three some. <laughs> thank you guys for watching <laughs> the episode. Please subscribe and I will see you guys next week. We are, we are going for that triple. Three some. <laughs> <laughs> Scandalous. <laughs>